I am no longer a feminist ally. I do everything for feminists and they appreciate nothing. I'm patient, I'm kind, I'm understanding, I'm accommodating, and I do not practice toxic masculinity. Yet when a feminist is single, I do get turned down and they go on a date with a toxic male. What the frick is the point of me being a feminist ally if they treat me like I don't freaking matter? There's nothing in it for me. You are going to lose all if you keep being hypocrites. Hello everybody, welcome back to another video for the day. Now before we get into that lovely content known as r slash nice guys, be sure to like the video and see something during the video you want to talk about, leave a comment down below, and then afterwards consider subscribing and checking out more videos. Let's get right into this content. Also, I've done 50 of these things. Alright, let's go. Unblock request on Snapchat. Hello, S. I just realized I've been blocked on your Snapchat. Reason why I haven't seen your posts lately. In our last interaction, I was already horny prior to getting on Snap, which is a normal human experience. I got on Snap, you were being too cute, and it got to me. As honest and open as I am, I told you the things you were doing, i.e. being cute with your smiles, and just having a good time with yourself, was something that was turning me on, and then you blocked. I think it's unfair that you did. I am human, not a tree. I have feelings, and those feelings are perfect, normal. I wasn't hitting on you or anything, I was being honest to you and that you were having a certain effect on me. Yes, it's your Snapchat and you decide what you want, but you have me blocked out of a normal human reaction and not something having to do with me being rude to you is something that hurt me when I found out about that. I want you to reconsider your stance on this. I request that you kindly unblock me. I deserve to gaze upon the beauty of which the Lord has bestowed upon thee himself, and as compensation for missing out a ton of your posts, I appeal to your better judgment to follow me on Twitter. Kindly, my handles below are these. Thank you for being as sweet as ever, and a beautiful day below kisses. Insert one of pretty smiles. Sincerely, me. Okay, so not only did you get blocked from Snapchat for probably a very obvious reason, you're trying to then message her on her email, which she probably did not expect to give you, and you wonder why she doesn't want to unblock you. you um, you're you kind of a dummy. And when you really think about it, people don't really give out their emails that much. They'd rather give out their Facebook where there's more of a security behind it. So if you found somebody's email and then sent them an email when they probably didn't give it to you, that's not only dumb, and that's extremely creepy, actually. Bottom line, don't lust about somebody and be creepy about it. What baffles the frick out of me is the fat, mediocre girls walk around with outrageous amount of confidence and bad attitudes thinking they're hot stuff. Well, some of the most gorgeous women I've ever seen walk around with self-esteem issues because people bring them down. That's because you tell them twice a day I have a forehead. I'm the second girl. That's just because you rejected me. It's in the rule book. If a girl turns you down, you gotta bring that girl down a few notches. All right, you little boy, let me tell you this. You're not gonna look professional or whatsoever by bringing other people down to your level. Why don't you try increase your level beyond theirs and make your own self look better? And you know, just increase your general quality of being a human. I mean, when you think about it, effectively, he's that same kid that when something bad happens to him, his only reaction is to do that same thing to everybody else to make them feel just as bad, not do anything else to make himself feel better. And yet you still wonder why some people call you child. Sorry for the late answer. Was in Germany over the weekend. Is MK in this one? Oh, hope you had a great time there. Could have been better. My grandma's a really difficult person. Ah, that's a shame. What's wrong? She's just a very bitter, racist old woman. Is she unhappy with something? It's with everything, basically. Doesn't she have enough people that love her, including you? She usually just chases them all away by being rude to everybody. She just told my little sister not to visit again since she likes me more. Oh, so how different is your sister from you? Not that much. My grandma basically decided that she loved me more when my little sister was born, and she has been second place ever since. Yeah, seems really unfair. Does she look similar to you physically? Not really. Both blonde and blue eyes, but that's about it. Oh, how old is she? She's this old. Oh, cool. She's studying anything? Yeah, she's studying science of agriculture. Next time I'm in Switzerland again, it would be cool to see you both. Why would my little sister meet somebody I met on Overwatch? She's not that little anymore. That's not my point. She doesn't randomly introduce me to persons I don't have a single connection with. It just seemed weird to me. I understand that you're very protective, but none of us know where life will take us in the future. I really don't know what you're on about now. And this has nothing to do with being protective. I would react the same if you asked me to just bring my aunt or best friend to a meeting. I'm sorry that the circumstances don't allow you to get to know me better, so unfortunately you will never know who I really am. Well, if you're in the subreddit, then I'm pretty sure we already got a good idea. Um, I guess, but I don't really get where you're wanting to meet my little sister out of the blue comes into this. I'm open to meet nice people anytime, anywhere. Yeah, so am I. Therefore, I didn't have any malicious intentions if I was to meet your sister, but if you don't want to create that possibility, then I you understand and protectiveness and it's perfectly fine by me right 
It's simply a weird out of the blue request, and my sister would react in the same way if it was the other way around. Forget about about meeting your sister as it wasn't a request anyway, but I'm glad you two understand each other well. After all, we did meet each other in person anyway. Yeah, we did. Glad you got a positive impression of me in the meantime, all the best. I really don't understand what's going on right now, to be honest. Nothing. I thought we were friends, but according to you, I'm just a random person on the internet. Well, you kind of are. That was a comparison to explain why I thought your request to see my sister was so strange. To me, it's it sounded especially weird after you wanted to know her age and what she looked like. If you don't see it that way, I'm sorry. Maybe it's a cultural difference, but here it is really strange. I was just trying to be friendly with you all the time, but unfortunately it's a great misunderstanding cultural difference. Besides, I thought you as a psychologist would be capable of rising above cultural differences and being able to talk to people on any level. Oh wow, just wow. Wow or not wow, to be a good psychologist, you should be a deep and stable person to be able to help others and not shallow and childish wrapped up in your own little narrow-minded world immersed in own personal issues. I don't know if this makes you feel empowered or mature, but right now you're just acting like a total dong. Don't know what happened to you, but after that I'm just done. And for the record, you wanting me to bring my little sister along after we met once is creepy as frick. I just said the cultural thing to be nice and to try to end the discussion without a fight. But since you chose to be a total dong to me, I don't feel the need to be friendly to you anymore either. Have a good life, dude, and I'm pretty certain that says you blocked this person. Dude, if you're playing Overwatch and you're supposed to move the payload, I don't think the payload is other people's siblings. I'm actually really glad that this person was able to just get that person done with and blocked and just gotten rid of them. I bet that they probably will persist to some degree, but I'm really glad that they kept their siblings safe. I wish I could be lucky enough to have you. I don't know what to say, my dude. I'm the nicest boy ever. I would treat you like a goddess. I would hold you and hold your hand and never let go. No thanks, I prefer my saying with my boyfriend. Alright, you're just gonna shut him down quick like that? I wanted to see the nice guy battle royale though. All women are queens. If she breathes, she's a fuck! People with a good heart are always unlucky in relationship. People only prefer douchebags. Being nice is the worst quality I have. Okay, but being nice isn't even a relationship quality. Like, imagine trying to get a job with that. All right, well, uh, what do you see? What do you think are your strong points? Well, I'm nice. All right, what, uh, anything else? Nope. All right, well, it looks like we aren't gonna be able to hire you then. You'd hire me if I was a douche. Girls, popular kids who are bullies, and kids with nice personalities. You guys better watch out. He's gonna make the nice guy in Aether. It's a wonderful device that will tear all the chads away from the Stacys, and now I will get to have the relationship. Hi, how are you? I love the pic you recently posted. You look great. Okay, you know what? Frick you, B. You ugly anyway. Um, what? Oh, sorry, that was my friend. How are you? I'm good. That's good. You want to mess around? No thanks. Why not? I don't want to. Plus, I'm not looking for anyone right now. Frick you, B. Oh darn, his friend got a hold of his phone again. What the frick? Girls never give me a chance. I would treat them like a god, but girls only go for chads. Frick you, girl. Oh my god, you're a nice guy. Wow, you're fantastic in every way. Stunning to look at and bloody fantastic body. Look, look great in a bikini. Your boyfriend is one lucky dude. Just love to chat to you online if you're interested. And not, if not, that's okay. I understand if you remain my dream girl. <laughs> Bye. Bye, and I'm not following you as well, okay? Because it's about only people following you and nothing else, except you get a big ego trip out of reading what other people say to you. You're selfish, and I feel sorry for any male that wants something with you. It's all about you. <laughs> I'm not interested. So by your logic, you said that anybody who wants something from you should feel sorry. Well, I guess you should start feeling sorry about yourself, dude. Nice guys are not the brightest bulbs at Home Depot, are they? She's ignoring me because just caring and being there for her isn't enough. No, she needs someone attractive, not even a nice guy post. I just don't freaking get it. Because even if you're nice and caring, if you aren't interesting or funny to talk to, then like, of course that's not enough, because being caring and kind as a trait any decent human has. Like, congrats you're not a donghole, but not being a butthead isn't enough for f to be friends or her to be interested. But how do you know that? Of course I'm interesting and funny, ask anyone. That's incredibly rude to assume, I don't even know you. This goes for this post and every other p thing in the past, like seriously, you cannot use nice guy as a quality, like that's just common human things to to do. I just hate it that you don't. I just hate it. Really? I just hate it that you don't have anything I bought you. Let me know if there's anything else you want. I don't need anything. Want. Don't need. Haha. <laughs> Look, taking. Want. Not need. Haha. <laughs> Anyone taking care of your rent? Expenses? I don't need to take care of the rent. I live with my boyfriend. I work for my money, so I take care of my expenses. Really? Doesn't look like he spoils you much if you change your mind if you have any gift card you wanted. 
Really doesn't look like if he's really doesn't look like he spoils you much. If you change your mind, I'll get you any gift card you wanted. Yes, because relationship is not good from money, it's good from the partner working together, improving themselves and each other. And you're suggesting me to change my mind about him to get gift cards. I think it's a no for me. He gives me things money can never buy. He's like, all right, now I've broken up my boyfriend. Where's my gift cards? Here's one for a McChicken. What? I, my bad, my bad. Here's one for two McChickens. All right, that's gonna have to be it for the video. If you had liked what you had seen, be sure to like the video, comment down below what you liked about the video, and consider subscribing to the channel and checking out more videos. Link to the Discord is down below, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you, and bye-bye.